Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create something like this, an amazing way to place any logo on top of any building inside your video like this inside Adobe After Effects. As you can see here with these skills you'll be able to place even motion graphics, picture, banner or whatever animation on top of any city building or any real estate building. Like you can see right here, this is before and this is after. Yes, it's been a while. I've been down and now I'm back in full force. So support me on this one. Do not forget to like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, then turn on the notification come back let's get started to pull off this effect of course you will need a footage a city building or any block of your choice where you want to place your logo or even motion graphics banner of course secondly you're gonna need to animate your logo or even animate your flyer poster or whatever you want to place on the building or let's if otherwise if you want them as stills i'm gonna use this banner animation that i have done in one of the tutorials you can check the tutorials right on the card above or in the video description so i'm gonna use this the next thing of course we're gonna do is now import our city building navigate to where you have your footage saved drag and drop this into your project manager window then we're going to take this directly and create a new composition by dragging and dropping it into this composition icon right below the project manager window. This is going to create a composition with the video settings. That way, we are not going to run into issues while tracking this all together. So I got this footage from pexels.com. You can go there and download whatever free footage you want to use or you can take your camera and make your video yourself. Now let's go into the effects and preset panel. If you don't have this, you can go to the windows options right here on top and then activate it from the drop down. So we're going to search for 3D camera tracker drag and drop it into the footage like this and allow it do its thing this is gonna take some time this will also depend on the size of your video and the length of the composition now the 3d camera tracker is done so if you scroll through your timeline you will see these colorful spots all over the place these are tracking points that is going to stick your logo onto any spot you choose right here. So we are trying to replicate one of the examples like you saw in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to place one right here. Select your footage. Make sure the effect is selected on the effects control panel. Then we're going to come here. Right here, right click then create solid and camera this is gonna place a new solid right here so we're gonna move forward in time to this spot right click and then create a new solid and then we're gonna create one right here right click and then create a new solid so if you scroll through the timeline now you see that the solids are following the positions you have so now if you have your motion graphics animated it's either you render the motion graphic out or your logo as a png files sequence or you can render it as an mp4 or mov but better still you can do it right inside the logo animation project file so now that is what i'm doing here what i'm gonna do now is to select this first color track here this solid this first solid right here then i'm gonna place this um motion graphics right there so i'll select it on my project manager window and also make sure it is selected on the timeline i'm gonna hold down the alt key 
on Windows and on Mac it is going to be option key then click and drag it right on top of this solid layer and that is going to automatically replace the composition the object or the solid layer right there and if you scrub right now you will see that it is perfectly sticking to the position so all we need to do now is to let's scrub now without it being selected you see the SSB Otaru City Tower A is right there on the LED so now what we're gonna do now is to select the text layer hit S on the keyboard we're gonna scale this down to about 80 percent you can feel free to do this to whatever you like you can pull in then I'm gonna hit P I want it to perfectly sit on the center hit P on the text and then move it on the X axis a bit beautiful now it's a bit centralized so if I fit back this to screen you will see that that is perfectly fitted and it is moving accordingly with the video so now let's replace the rest of this and position it perfectly in such a way that you're gonna be able to doubt if this shot was not taken with your logo on that building of your choice so we're gonna repeat the same process like we did on the first solid so i'm gonna select the blue solid layer right here so i want to put in my banner right here in your own case it could be logo or any motion graphic or even still picture so what i'm gonna do is to select it on the timeline then i'm gonna go up right here and select the banner and make sure i hold down the option key on mac and alt key on window drag and drop it right on top and it's gonna replace it perfectly like this so hit s on your keyboard if you are using the same footage like i do if you use pixel then i'm gonna reduce this to 98 perfect that is sitting right there if you also scroll from beginning you will see that everything is sitting from the lcd you can see how beautiful this is already so what i'm going to do is select the last solid layer here in my own case i want to just put a color you can replace this with another image or another animation entirely i want this to look like a very massive digital billboard on the top of the building like an advertisement of sort or something just to create an opening sequence for your video presentation so what i'm going to do is to go to fx and control that is is to go to fx and preset and search for fill drag and drop it into the solid composition then i'm going to change the color to something from the lcd right here so i'm going i'm going to go into the color as well and make it a bit lighter because if you take a look at that spot the light is hitting that spot better than the other side where the LCD screen is. So if you take a look at it perfectly done right now, if you preview this, this is what you're going to have. An amazing way to stick your logo onto any building inside any footage of your choice. And it is going to stick solidly as your camera moves. Usually you need a fancy software like a 3D software like Cinema 4D, Maya, Blender to do this kind of tracking. But with After Effect 3D camera tracker, you'll be able to place 2D images into a 3D object and then it will look perfectly sitting right there. One good tip to have in mind is that if this if what you are placing on the building is actually not dark or even like as it is on this building you may need to add a drop shadow like you can see in this example there is a shadow that i have added to this so you can add a drop shadow to make it more realistically sitting on that building and you can position the shadow direction to where your light is coming from so that is one thing you have to
mind if you are placing an object that is not as dark as this even on this one if you place and add a shadow that could be very nicely done so but this is okay for me unless otherwise if you're using a latter object and you want to see the shadow sitting right on the building so that it will remain very realistic beautiful so this is how you can place any logo of your choice into or on any building in any footage right inside adobe after effect without the use of any external plugin and this is very quick and fast if you learn something new on this video please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so in whatever way you are able to support me I highly appreciate you. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru from Motion Digit Studios.